Hello everyone, it's Akatrius here and I welcome you to yet another episode of Library of Ruina. Last time we finally, after all these years, finished up the lower, uh, the lower line of Star of the City. And unlocked a whole lot of abnormality battles with it. We now unlock Tiff uh, Tiffy's level 4. Gabby's level 2 is, is, has been there for an eternity. We got Chessette's level 3, we got Bina's level 2, and Hawkmas level 2 as well, and Ketter's level 5. And today we will start with Gabby's level 2. We, hold, we held up on this for a hell of a long time. And today, I believe, is the day we'll do it. First up, the setup. Gabby has Malkuth's deck. Mary has the uh, Lowell Page deck that we used on the other guy. And London has the same gun page, but with Dennis's page instead. I now have three identical fighting pages with ranged. Like, literally. Wessel still has his one. Angel still has her one. And now, Mary, uh, no, London has her own one. Yep. That's our life. Let's go. And hope we will do this right. Uh. All right, to reiterate, the wolf must die by the hand of the uh, mercenary, otherwise the mercenary will attack us. Or the mercenary will go batshit crazy. One strategy I had in my head was that I kill, I get the wolf almost half down, and then kill off the mercenary, and then kill off the wolf. Well, let's see how this goes, first and foremost. Yeah, um, we want to actually prevent him from attacking the mercenary so that the mercenary doesn't uh, deliberately attack us. We have all the zero costs for Gabby, huh? Alright, I think we start with Prescript here. You want to reload for sure? And draw a card. So one big thing is that with Dennis's page, we get every time that we exhaust free ammunition, we get a random ammunition to the end of the end of the scene, which means we have even more ammo to throw at. And we got bot deal on him at, uh, on this page that makes us draw whenever we discard. We got best choice, which is a bit more health. This is also more health and. That's more damage on emotional fee plus. Alright, uh, let's see. Can we actually uh, get any of these? There's only one hit. It requires HP though, but that's, that should be fine. Alright, not only this will hit him, but... This might actually work in our favor. Yep. In that case, let us put this here. Let's make sure that this target's there, and let's go. That's exactly how we wanted it to be. Nice. Get a reload here. Draw the sword. Very nice. Good first turn, if I do say so myself. Now we've got Forming Storm, which is uh, a weird thing. I want to try this out. Maybe not this turn, but at some point. Alright, uh, we can barely actually scratch him, and he's starting with a Master Attack. Wait, this is weak as shit. Yeah, we can just Focus Fire... Here. But we only discard two. Mm -hmm. Eh, whatevs. Actually, no, let's bayonet. Let's bayonet here. Make sure we have more stuff to discard. Uh, okay. Blow of a sword is a great way to get this.
And I believe we can in fact go for forming snow. I don't I don't know how that works. Hmm. You will not clash, so. We may as well use this. But with this side. Uh inner order here. Makes us bleed a little bit, but that should be okay. Can still rush down. Let's go. Looking pretty good so far. But I'm more worried as to what happens once he reaches half his health. And I also need to make sure that the mercenary gets this gets a final damage onto him. Which is going to be the half part. Now he's gonna howl. Okay, quite honestly. I thought this was worse. Hmm. Anyway, gun. Uh, also, reload is great here. Get more. Uh, you can will of a priest card because you still have the draw cards. And blockade because you can use it. As for here, you go a flow of a sword. It was here. And you can also go for draw. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah. No hits here. Big gun. So our big problem would be uh, making sure he di doesn't die from burn, and that's a uh, that's a real possibility here. Okay, he's going with a strike without hesitation again. There is a world in which we should get hit by this, just so he has more strength to hit him with. This world, that that world does exist. Okay, and the order goes here. Let's go. Yeah, this is a little sad. Okay, Wolf is angry. Wolf is very angry. Uh, we need to up our emotion level, which we are very far from. you do this, this might not actually protect you. Oh yes, that's good. 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 Only have two, eh? Alright, you do this. There we go. Oh yikes. That means that our man is in rage mode. Yep, he's gonna be rage. Yep. This man angry.
Okay. But we don't get emotion. Oh, right. We can't get emotion. I forgot one very important point of a first abnormality battle. Cannot get emo we cannot get emotion points. In that case, uh... Right, in that case I have to make a specific loadout for this because we will die here. Ah, uh, I've been banking so much on the emotion part that I forgot that I cannot gain emotion. There's still a world in which we win this. That also means we cannot even use Blazing Strike! Okay... How about you don't die? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you have to survive this, which is creep gaming time. Now he's dead. And we instantly lose when he dies. That's good to know. Yep. So, my biggest problem here. We cannot gain emotion levels. I totally disregarded that. I totally disregarded the point that we cannot get emotion levels. That's what makes this hard. We cannot have more than four light. Which means I need additional means to, uh, to gain light. Uh... Damn! Means we got- we gotta use restfulness here. Okay. Uh, that's- that's awkward. That's incredibly awkward. Uh, hmm. This doesn't do too much here. And that that's a problem when you haven't actually had this thing going on for a long time. For, for a long, long time, I never had problem with motion levels or with uh, gaining light via motion levels. And now that I have this problem, I am totally stoked by it. Do I have one more Gyongi page? You don't need that right now. Alright, with restfulness... Ah, uh, but that means I have to not do anything for a scene. For this to proc. You can also use 10 mass thing. Respiration. Start off a scene, if current light is zero, restore one light. That, that would be better. But these two anyway. Restfulness can't stay on third, but... Jesus Christ, this, this is still... 
Way too weird. Now I, I finally realize why this is so difficult for me. Why I am always running out of light. Because I cannot get emotion levels. And that's my main strategy for most of the time. Man, I'm stupid. Anyway, we start with the same strategy. We want to at least get to level 2. Which we can. We can get 4 light. That is a possibility we do have. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Alrighty. Now we can focus fire. And I forgot to put up blazing strike because we cannot, we literally cannot use it. There's no world in which we can use blazing strike. That's already 100 damage gone. But now I also know that the strategy I thought about wouldn't work. Which is big. Alright, so here we just pass and next time we should have uh, we should have enough. We cannot just pass here. Actually we can. Okay. Not easy. I tell you that, it's not easy. Okay, that's mass summation, so we do want to have Bayonet here. Draw the sword. You have zero cost. Yes, you do. Power blockade. Easy. Alright. Alright. Another option, of course, would be to go for a paralysis type of build. Which is a real possibility. Focus fire here. Hmm. We use this ammo. He cannot. Uh, we will discard free flame ammunition, which is a lot of burn. Yes, this is a very burn centric uh, build, which I like. 
flow of a sword can go here. Can I just have a big one? So we have to hope that he does something that works. And you can also use flow of a sword here. Or harder. Harder will be stronger. Eh, flow. Ah, worked. Face. That's 30 burn. That was 30 burn. Okay. You were going to do that, eh? Better than nothing, and we're almost at stagger time for the wolf, which is massive for us, of course. Uh, I actually want Gabby to get hit here, just so I can release this. Oof. Okay, one uh, improvement would be to not use the big cards. Like, to only go for the uh, for two costs and below. Ooh, yikes, that's a stagger. And he's angry now. Which is very bad for us. Okay, we cannot use these cards. Unless we use Giga Gig, right. Uh, Giga Gig, and... What you use? Oh, we have to use Giga Gig with this dice. You use flow of sword. Actually, you can use rush stone. And then this. This is looking pretty well, pretty good. All right, what do we have? Yeah, four. We use them here. Yeah, full on light. That's that's rare. Hmm. Probable blockade and repress flesh. Draw the sword. Yeah, we get hit a lot. Ooh, deal fight stagger damage, eh? That's a lot. Mm. I want to use prescripts. That's a stagger. Okay, 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 okay. Big. Why are you angry? Ah, oh, you're also fast. Uh... Okay, and the rest is just to make sure... Actually, I want to... Backfire the rest of this. Yep, and that was what. Yes! No, that was perfect! That was perfect! We did it! Oh man!
We saw the problem, which was the light generation. We fixed the light generation. And we win. That's what I like to see. <웃음> 껍데기에 불과하니까. 아니 뭐못 믿겠다는 건 아니고 붉은 안개와 함께 있다는 게 실감이 안 나서. 난첫 번째 삶에서 동료들을 지키다 죽었어. 외과계 연구실에서? 그래. 그리고 다시 깨어나 예전의 기억이 흐릿한 채 로보토미에서 일을 한 거고. 넌 어디서 활동했는데? 난 도시 동부. 난 서부였어. 서로 볼일 없을 만하네. 붉은 안개의 전설 중에 궁금한 거 하나 있는데 질문 받습니까? 뭔데? 단신으로 검지 대행자 다섯 명을 썰었다는 거 말입니다 아, 검지 오랜만에 듣네 뒷골목에 더러운 호칭들 역같은 기억들 맞아 정확히는 검지의 대행자 다섯이랑 전령 셋의 멱을 딴 적이 있지 <웃음> 역시 대단합니다. <웃음> 확인차 전령 이야기 안 했는데 정확하네. 밖은 십 년이 흘렀다고 했나? 도시와 뒷골목은 여전하지? 돈 없는 사람끼리 서로 죽이고 빼앗기고 언제 어떻게 당할지 모른 채 살아가야 한다는 거? 진짜 <웃음> 여전하네. 당연히 십년 전이나 지금이나 방식은 달라졌어도 본질은 같아. 난 그걸 바꾸고 싶어서 그 지랄을 했는데 변함없다니 헛웃음이 나오네 그래도 뒷골목마다 해맨팡팡이라는 샌드위치 프랜차이즈가 생겼는데 이게 이게 삶의 질을 굉장히 올려주고 있어 네가 납치되어서 못 먹은 스페셜 샌드위치를 판다는 곳? 음, 그렇지 아, 아직도 아쉽단 말이야 Salty Roland. Namaitagohani, 지금은 더 이야기할 수 있는 상황이 아닌 것 같네. 아, 이 책은 고마워. 내 일인 걸 뭐. 그리고 한 가지만 더. 또 뭔데? 내 자우한테 술 빌리러 간다는 거. 나도 껴도 될까? 그러던가. <웃음> <웃음> oh, I love it. The emotional threshold has increased to level two. Yes, thank you. I needed that. Uh, flow of language abnormality page acquired. Prey. Mark the first enemy that attacked this librarian after the page selected. Deal plus two to six damage when attacking Mark foe. Vengeance. At the start of the scene, gain strength based on the amount of damage taken the previous scene. Okay. And Ruddled Welts. If the librarian's HP is at 50, 35, 25 or lower, gain one, two or four strength each scene. Yo! Imagine using Eugen's page here with Ruddle Welts. Four strength? Forever? That is busted. It's a two bow, so. Oh, we don't have a book of one. Wow. I didn't think it would. Didn't think this would stop because I I burned all the books of a uh, smiling faces. Yeah, that's that's kind of awkward. Well, if we can't continue with with uh with Gabby, let's do Chesset instead. All right, no clue about what what I'm facing, but I feel like making it actually. Uh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, I do want to use Lowell's page again, because it works. I also want to use uh, Kim's page, because it works. And I want to use... Gun. I like gun. Let's go! Warm-hearted woodsmen. Alright. If this character has a warm heart, ever sort of a scene, all librarians restore light to max. Okay. What's this? Uh, okay. <clears throat> Still not enough. Each scene targets a, a character with the most light, which is all of them. I want a heart. When I take all dice, gain power equal to the amount of light the target has. So we have to use all light every time. Upon defeating another character, recover 20% of max HP and gain 3 stacks of warm heart. And if a character has no warm heart at the start of the scene, become staggered. Hard Heather. Start of the scene, if the amount of warm hearts is zero, but Woodsman calls this character. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> this will always roll five, so we don't necessarily want to use weak things there. So we use emotional turbulence. And then draw off a sword. To get light back. I mean, another option is just not clashing. That works. We use Mulinet here, and... Yeah, we can just not clash there. I could use Cover Crime Crisis. I do want to use uh, Bayonet and Reload, so let's do that. Let's go! Very good. I don't think you can even roll lower in a fight though. Alright, and we get our only abnormality page for this fight. Hmm. And this is where we use this for our gunman. Oh! Okay. Yeah, we want to make sure that this loses the clash. Not as easy, because it rolls 9 to 11, but we should be able to do that, right? Yeah, plus 2 die power, plus 3 slash power, which means this rolls 5 to 12, right? No, 5 to 13. So 5 is, no, 9, 9 11 versus 9, 13. That, that should work. Ah, uh, we mangle here. You can rush down this. You can even flow the sword this. And you can, of course, use bayonet here. Just to make him burn a little more. Alright, he lost the one pulse. I mean, I could also just kill the trees. That'll make things easier. Hmm. 
Hmm. Inner order, better. Class and respect here. Oh no. Actually. Class and respect here. And you can focus fire. That's four paralysis next turn. You can tell me a lot of things, but not that uh, that this gun page is weak. Because this gun page is big. Okay, the guy managed to get staggered. One. Oh. Anyway, focus fire. And reload. Start a defense, and let's go. Alright. Oh yeah, we get one more. Uh... Okay, he should call another one. Oh, that heals him too. Good to know. Should be too big. Uh, we might not be able to outwit that. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, let's use this there. Oh, that's pretty awkward. Let's just pray that it works out. Yep, yep. All right, all. Actually, I want to use Sturdy Defense. Nope. This was the right call. Bayonet Combat over here. With Drop Sword. Oh, actually, with 4 Paralysis, save our ass here. Okay. Hmm. Go here. No, actually, using focus fire here is smarter because you can just. Use Mangala here and Overcome Crisis here. That should be good enough. Uh, you will try to kill this guy. Oh yeah, I should also make sure not to use too little stuff. Well. I just remember one other passive from him. And that brings me to a disadvantage, because if I didn't remember, I wouldn't have problems with it. 
Uh, it's not too big of a deal, I believe. Oh, shit. You're still on free, huh? This is ranged block. Okay. The other way around would be so much better. Uh, Sturdy defense should be a good enough. And flow of a sword, so you have no light. Sharpened blade somewhere, and overcome crisis. And pray. Alright, that worked out. And we did it. And we did it. Nice suit. Warm hearted woodsman complete. That was an interesting one. I like that, even though I'm stupid, but that's just me. Coffee <laughs> 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 Odiso Otto Ketebe Nabuto, Olmana Pokanenka. Chuturakan in Jongdoa, Wonder on the Jongdoro Punse and Gado Chinue. If Jaek Getara, Sammiwa Tamashi Kelchong Denica. Guess Homse and the Mueguman. Nankanyang Chunun de Romasan and the Marigi. Tosia Saram Dirgua, Tamungo Gatiana. Tipulmuk Chushininji, Tungi Chushininji. Do Tipulmukiramian, Onuguok Chushininji Tara. 자라난 사람과 가치관이 판이하게 달라지니까 그리고 그 성장 과정이 얼마나 험했는가도 포함해서 말이야 음악의 골목에서는 음악을 못하는 자는 패배자로 맛의 골목에서는 언제 자신이 식재료가 될지도 모르는 거야 그게 재배지의 방침이니까 듣고 보니 그렇네 잠깐 사람마다 다른 맛을 낸다? 상당히 23구스러운 발상인데 혹시 너 몰래 손님들을 오려낸 건 아니지? Right, 23 was the uh, was the cannibalism district. 나도 반 농담이야. And Gabby was born there. 뭐 무슨 일이든 일어날 수 있으니까. 서로 다른 곳에서 만들어진 커피를 하나로 섞어주는 걸 블렌딩이라고 해. 블렌딩을 통해 아무리 질라진 커피라도 향미를 낼수 있지. 사회학은 블렌딩과 닮았어. 뭔가 사람이 잘 섞여 살게 하는 방법이니까 그럴싸한데? 그렇지. 그리고 어떤 블렌딩 방법이냐에 따라 걸러지는 재료들이 있기 마련이야. 하지만 커피 콩과는 다르게 사람들은 욕망이 있어서 원하는 블렌딩 머신으로 스스로 가고자 해. 이왕이면 고급스러운 세상으로 가고 싶은 거지. 달려나가는 것은 똑같은데 말이지. 그래서 좋은 커피 콩들을 얻기 위해 도시와 둥지는 끊임없이 속삭여 가장 거대하고 개성 있는 맛을 섬세하게 채워줄 보충제가 필요하니까 인생의 가치는 이곳에 있다 보란 듯이 잘 사는 모습을 과시하고 걸러진 패배자의 모습을 보여주지 그렇게 모두 흘려서 자신을 파는 거야 거짓이라 해도 뒷골목에서 한 보다 둥지의 삶이 나은 건 사실이야 그럴까? 날개들은 말 그대로 사람들을 커피콩처럼 갈아놓고 있는데 저마다의 날개는 자신의 둥지가 가장 아늑한 곳이라며 깃털들을 모집해 둥지 안에서의 정책은 날개마다 상이하게 다르고 뒷골목은 그 정책에 맞게 뒤틀려가 모두가 거대하고 달콤한 거짓말에 젖어 있어 지금 자신의 행동이 최선이라고 애써 믿고 있는 거야 최선이라고 믿는다니 그게 최선인 거야. 뒷골목 삶에서 벗어나 날개에 입사해 안정적인 둥지의 삶을 보내는 거. 이 이상의 방법이 없어. 그렇다면 블렌딩 방법은 누가 정하는 걸까? 아니, 블렌딩이 필요한 걸까? 골라내는 것이 필요한 걸까? 각자 자신이 내는 향대로 살면 안 되는 걸까? 
속 편한 소리 하네 그런 의문을 품으면 한도 끝도 없어 그런 걸까? 그런 거야 커피 잘 마셨어? 가볼게 Alright, that's neato. Yep, yep, we get more stuff. A warm heart. At the start of a scene, boost the power of offensive dice by one or two. If a scene has a librarian, no, if the librarian has three or more light. Cardier. After dealing 15 or more damage to enemies in a single scene, reduce the cost of the two most expensive pages in hand by one. On kill. Reduce the cost to zero instead. Cost reduction is reset when the page are when the pages are used. And timber! When attacking a target that has more light than the library. Offensive dice gain power equal to the amount of light the target has, up to two. Nice Sue. And we got Maxine as our next one. As well as we will have to wait for number three because I have burned all the books of beta. So I have to do that one again too. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I've been a bit too throw away with my books, not gonna lie. But that's fine by me. We'll be doing that in between episodes, of course. Um, and that may means that this is all I've had planned for today. Next time on Library of Ruina, we will gather the books we need for these two. And then, uh, start with Gabby, get Gabby to level 3, and then... Tiffy, Gabby, Chesed, hopefully all three of them um, to level four. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna sound like all the others. I don't I don't really care. I mean I'm always happy about comments because I do like interaction interacting with people. So that's incredibly fun. And I'm thankful for everyone who has uh commented underneath the other already recorded 34 episodes of this let's play or playthrough or whatever you want to call it and see you guys in the next episode bye bye